Again, this, this will be our third week ng Mathematics 10. And for this week, I will be having your geometric sequence. Okay, po, Stribal, sabi ko last week, uh, last week that we have different kinds of sequences. One of those is arithmetic sequence na kinuha natin last week. Just a quick recap, uh, when we talk about re, uh, arithmetic sequence, we add uh, a certain uh, a fixed number called common difference. But in this week, we'll be having geometric sequence and we will know the difference between arithmetic and geometric. So let me share first my screen. Okay. Okay po. So may I request others to mute muna ang ating pong mga um, mic so I can continue. So now we'll be having geometric sequence. So what's the difference between arithmetic and geometric? So kapag tinawag natin, pag tinabi natin arith, uh, geometric sequence, a geometric sequence is also known as geometric progression. Okay po, so ibang libro, sa iba, ibang libro, hindi po nila ginagamit ang word na geometric sequence kundi geometric progression. It's a set of terms in which each term after the first is obtained by multiplying the preceding term by a single fixed number called common ratio. Okay po, kung doon sa arithmetic sequence, we add a certain number called common difference. But this time around, when we talk about geometric, it's multiplication. Nagmumultiply like, tayo ng, uh, ng uh, a certain number, fixed uh, na number, na tinatawag nating common ratio. So I have here an example of a, comma, of a geometric sequence which is 1, 5, 25, 125, and 625. Okay? Kung makapansin natin ito, so kung, kung titignan natin, kung arithmetic to, 1 to 5 will give us uh, plus 4. Pero kung, kung makapansin natin, yung 5 to 25, hindi naman siya plus 4. Dapat na yan. So, ang nangyari dito ay from 1 to 5, paano naging 1 yung 5? Hindi siya addition, kundi itry natin naman ang multiplication kung tatama. From 1 to 5, we multiply it by 5, so tumama siya. So 1 times 5 is 5. Then kung ito ay geometric progression, dapat continue siya. So times 5, so that's 5 times 5 is 25, that's correct. 25 times 5 is 125. And 125 times 5 is 625. So, ibig sabihin, kung mapansin natin, single fixed number ang ating pong ginamit. Ibig sabihin, that is what we call the common ratio. Paano po natin makikita ang common ratio in a given sequence? Rather than thinking, anong number ang multiply natin sa 1 by 5, we can use R. R is equals to second term over first term or any magkasunod na term. So, ibig sabihin ko, para makita lang natin yung common ratio, kahit anong dalawang magkasunod na term, pwede natin gamitin. Example, if we use the first term and the second term, which is 1 and 5, ibig sabihin that's 5 over 1 that will equal to 5. So that's our common ratio. Pwede ko rin gamitin yung 25 at 5. 25 divided by 5 is 5. 125 divided by 25 is 5. So kung hindi given yung unang dalawa, basta may dalawa tayong magkatabi, makukuha natin yung common ratio. Basta kunin natin yung na nahuli, i-divide natin sa nauna. Clear po tayo? So that's the difference between arithmetic okay. and geometric. When we talk about geometric, okay. we multiply a certain number, which is consistent okay. hanggang dulo na minumultiply natin. Uh, that is what we call the common ratio. Okay? Let's continue. Pakimute po ng ating pong... Mute ka lang to, ha? Okay, let's continue. Let's let's have it is 1, 2, 4, 8, 16. So in order, what what will be our common ratio? Sir, two po. Two. That will be two. Sure. Correct. That will be positive two. 
Okay, positive 2. Sabi ka nga natin, in order to get the common ratio, you just have to divide the second term by the first term. So, pwedeng 2 divided by 1 is 2. 4 divided by 2 is 2. 8 divided by 4 is 2. And 16 divided by 8 is 2. Paano naman kung nabaliktad? Sample. If I have the given will be... 16, 8, 4, 2, 1, dot, 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 or and so on. What will be the common ratio? Negative 2 po. Mm, tingnan natin negative 2. 16 times negative 2. That's negative 32. Po. Nasanay, ta nasanay kasi tayo sa arithmetic na basta pal pal paliit, basta paliit nagiging negative. Hindi po sa pagkakatao ng arithmetic. Okay? Hindi ibig sabihin na kapag lumiliit, we multiply it by negative. Pag arithmetic pa kasi, kapag paliit, dinadagdagan natin ng negative. But in geometric, hindi po ganun. Okay? Paano? Ano kaya ang common ratio niya at bakit siya paliit? Nag-divide, sir. I-divide ng? I-divide po ng 2. 2. So, your idea, your idea is divided by 2. Check na natin. 16 divided by 2 is 8. The 8 divided by 2 is 4. 4 divided by 2 is 2. And 2 divided by 2 is 1. So, correct yung idea ni Tobias, ni Ace. Ni Ace. So, divide by 2. Pero... Kung ano natin, kung titingnan natin, ang ang definition kasi ng geometric se sequence ay we multiply it by a certain number, not to divide. So, kung tama yung idea ng division, pero ano kaya ang pwede nating i-multiply sa 16 para maging 8? Ah, sino ba, sino ba yung nagsalita kanina? Hindi para sa Asian. Lumabas lang si Zahid. Point Aris. five, sir. Si Aris pala, si Aris. So, ngayon, point five. Or, if we change point five into fraction. One half po. One half, that's correct. Paano po nakuha yon? Sabi ko nga sa inyo, di ba sinasabi ko sa inyo, in order to find the common ratio, you just have to divide the second term by the first term. So kung kukuhanin ko tong 16 at 8, the second term here is 8. So that will be 8 over 16. And kapag ni lowest term natin yan, that is 1 half. Okay? So the idea now is not to divide by 2, though pareho sila ng, idea, ng, pareho sila ng idea. So but just to be parallel, just to be parallel with the idea that we multiply a certain number, we multiply it by a fraction. So that is 16 times 1 half. That will be 16 times 1. 16 divided by 2. That is 8. Times 1 half. So 8 times 1 half. That will be 4. Times 1 half will be 2. Times 1 half. That will be 1. Okay. In this case, in order for a number to to minimize its number, so to decrease its number, we have to multiply it by fraction. Okay po. Ano ngayon ang role ng, ng ano? Ano ang role ngayon ng negative? Ang negative, makikita mo lang siya kung magpapalit-palit ng number siya. Example, 16, negative 8, 4, negative 2, 1. So kung ito ay magiging negative, example, then baka, Kung ito magiging negative, 16 div uh, negative 8 divided by 16 is negative 1 half. Then, we have, if we use this one naman, yung 4 at saka yung 8, so that will be R is equals to positive 4 divided by negative 8, that is still negative 1 half. Okay? So, ang role lang dito ng ma ma malalaman mo na negative ang given natin, or ang ratio natin kapag alternating kapag alternating yung kanya pong um, sign okay from 16 naging negative 8 then naging positive 4 then naging negative 2 pero kung consistent ang kanyang 
sign, example, 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, which is continuous siya na positive numbers, ibig sabihin, positive din ang ating common ratio. Kung consistent naman siya negative, example, negative 16, negative 8, negative 4, negative 2, negative 1, ibig sabihin pa rin nun, kahit negative yung mga numbers nun, consistent ang, ang sign niya, ibig sabihin nun, ay positive pa rin ang ratio natin. Ma malalaman lang natin negative ang ratio natin kapag alternating ang number. Gets po? Clear po tayo doon? Clear po? And yes, sir. Okay po. So, clear natin to. So, now, so the main idea here is to look for uh, a certain term, a certain term using a formula. A geometric, uh, a geometric sequence has a common ratio the formula for the n term or yung last term na tinatawag natin is a sub n equals a sub a equals uh, a sub n equals a sub 1 sorry ha na, na nawala yung ano natin a sub 1 which is our first term r times r raised to n minus 1 so we have a new formula here Okay? Kasi yung dati, ang ginawit natin, a sub n is equals to a sub 1 plus the quantity r uh, d minus 1 times n minus 1 times d. Yun yung sa arithmetic. Pero pag sa geometric, we'll be using a sub n is equals to a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. Where our a sub n is our last term, a sub 1 is our first term pa rin, yung pa rin yung ginagamit natin. R is for our ratio, and N is for the number of term. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, apat pa rin yung hinahanap natin. This is the number of term. Okay. Let's try to use that formula. Gamitin natin yung formula. Okay? Sample. Determine the 10th term in the sequence 4, 8, 16, 32, which is our given kanina. So, ang hinahanap natin kanina ay ngayon ay the 10th term. So, katulad po ng sa ating arithmetic, apat pa rin yung hanapin natin, which is the A sub N, which is our 10th term, yung ating pong 10th term ang hinahanap. We have our A sub 1, we have our R and we have our N. Ano nga pong nawawala? Ten term po, sir. Ten term. So that's term. A, A sub 10 is missing. What is our A sub 1? Oh, our first term. Four po. Correct. That will be four. How about our N? R. What is our R? Sir, two po. Two. Saan ang galing yun? From second term divided by first term. Which is 8 divided by 4 is equals to 2. Para lang maliwanag tayo. And how about our N? 10 po, sir. Ten that, po. Will, that will be 10. Kasi pang 10th term ang hinahanap natin. So that is 10. So now we'll be using the formula a sub n is equals to a sub 1 r raised to n minus 1. So that will be a sub 10 equals, what is our a sub 1? That will be 4. four. What is our a sub 2? Uh, a sub, what is our r? Our r is 2. Ama, R is 2, raised to 10, 10 minus 1. Ibig sabihin yan, that will be 4 times 2 raised to 9. 10 minus 1 is 9. Ngayon, what is 2 raised to 9? Hindi po. 18 ha? Baka magsabi, may magsabi ng 18. 512, raised... sir. Hmm? 512. 
500 to. Paano nakuha yon? Paano nakuha ang 512? Ano sir? 2 raised to 9 po. 2 raised to 9. Ibig sabihin yan, yung 2, ay, kung may calculator kayo, madali yan. That's 2 raised to 9. Pero doon sa magmamano-mano, paano nakuha ang 2 raised to 9? It will be sham na 2 ang imumultiply mo. So that's 2 times 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 2. So sham yun. So if you have your calculator, I am allowing you to use your calculator. That will be easier. So based on sa sinabi nga natin, that's 2 raised to 9 is 512. That's correct. So that is 4 times 512. Then we multiply it 512 times 4. 512 times 4. What is 500? 2048. 2048, sir. Okay, po. That's 4 times 5,512. That's 2048. And that will be our A sub 10. Okay. That will be our A sub 10. Ulitin ko lang ha kung paano ginawa para clear tayo. So from the given 4, 8, 16, 32, we identify the A sub 10 since we're looking for the 10 term. A sub 1, R and N. Our A sub 10 is missing. Our A sub 1 or the first term is 4. Our R is 2 coming from 8 divided by 4 or 16 divided by 8 or 32 divided by 16. Pare-pareho yan, that will be 2. And our n is 10. Then using the formula, it will be a sub 10 equals 4 times 2 raised to 10 minus 1. 10 minus 1 is 9, kaya naging 2 raised to 9 siya. 2 raised to 9 is we multiply 2 9 times. So it will, that will equal to 512. And 512 times 4, that will be 2048. Okay po. Clear po tayo? Question? Clear po? Any question? Wala sir. Wala po. None sir. Okay po. Thank you. So we can now continue to the next one. Yan. How about this one? We have here find, determine the sixth term in a sequence, 150, 25. Kung makapansin nyo, pababa siya. 150, 25. So, ano in-expect natin na ratio dito? Kung pababa ang number? Fraction. Correct. It will be fraction. So, identify muna natin yung apat na nawawala. Which is your A sub 6, your A sub 1, your R, and your N. So definitely a sub six. ako sabihin mo. Yes what? A sub six is missing. Ako. Yes, then Denise, pwede natin off mo na. So a sub one will be one hundred. How about our R? Sorry, one half four zero point five four. Okay, po, Mike T by. So. That's one half or 0 0.5. That's acceptable. That is coming from 100 divided by... Oh, sorry. Clear natin ito. Mali yung pagkakasulad ko. It is second term. Our second term is 50 divided by the first term, which is 100. So that will equal to one half. One half. And our N is 6. Diba? 6. Ngayon, sabi na natin, um, sir, may fraction na, mahirap po yan. Madali lang po ang fraction sa suto lang. Mas madali nga ang fraction kaysa um, decimal. E po. So, paano natin gagawin? Pataliin natin. So, that is A sub 6 is equal to 100 times one half raised to six minus one. Yeah, may fraction na sir. Wait lang. That will be 100 times one half 
times 6 minus 1 is 5. Para hindi kayo mahirapan, take 1 at a time. Ano ibig sabihin ko? Since it is 1 half and it is raised by 5, huwag mo siyang isipin na 1 half times 1 half times 1 half times 1 half times 1 half. Kasi doon ka mahihirapan. I-take natin siya as individual. Pwede natin siya i-take individually. So kung ang 1 ay, ang taas natin ay 1, at minultiply natin ng limang beses ang 1, anong sagot? 1 times 1 times 1 times 1 times 1. That is? 1 po. One pa rin, di ba? One pa rin. How about two? Two times two times two times two times two. 32 po. That will 32. be 32. So, that, mas madaling isipin ang, ang individual kaysa i-multiply mo siya ng one half times one half times one half times one times one half. So, i-take mo siya as individual para hindi ka mabombard ng number. Okay, so the final answer for 1 half raised to 5 is 1 over 32. Gets po. Ngayon, para hindi ka rin mahirapan ng paglalowest term, paglalowest term, ay ang gawin na natin agad dito ay i-lowest term natin. Yung 100, gawin ko na rin siyang fraction by simply putting 1 sa baba. Okay, ngayon, ang paglalowest term natin is pwede siyang pababa or pa diagonal. Bawal po ang pahiga. So, ibig sabihin, i-check muna natin. 100 at 1, may common, may common factor ba sila? 100 at 1? Definitely, 1 lang. So, wala na yung epekto. Yung 1 at 32, wala, wala din. Yung 1 at 1, diagonally, di 1 pa rin yun. Pero yung 100 at saka 32, may common difference sila. Ano ano uh, may common factor sila. Ano makakapag-divide sa 100 at saka sa 32 in the same time? Pwede pong unti-unti, ha? Huwag biglaan. Ano number na naiisip niyo na pwede mag-divide sa 100 at saka sa 32? Pwede pong 4 po. 2 po. Oh, doon muna tayo sa maliit. Pwedeng 4, 3. 4 2. Okay po. Doon muna tayo sa maliit. Let's try 2. Kasi pinakamadilay ang 2. So, 100 divided by 2, that will be 50. Diba? 50 yan. Yung 32, pag dinivide mo siya ng 2, that will be 16. O, yung 50 at 16, pwede pa siyang i-divide ulit by 2. So, yung 50 magiging 25. At yung 16 magiging 8. Ngayon, Yung 25 at 8 ba may magdi-divide pa? Wala na siya. Wala na. So, ibig sabihin, stop na tayo doon. Then, numerator to numerator, 25 times 1, that will be 25. And 1 times 8, that will be 8. So, our final answer is A sub 6. So, kailangan pa po bang it's changed into, into mixed form? No. Hindi na po hindi na po tayo nag-change sa mixed form. Ang kailangan ko lang lagi ay na lowest term. Okay? Lagi po na lowest term. So yung 16, yung 100 at 16 din divide niyo siya agad ng um ng 4, ganun din po ang mangyayari. 100 divided by 4 is 25, 32 divided by 4 is 8. So, the final answer pa rin is 25 over 8. Clear? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. So let's move on to another given. Para makuha po natin. How about this one? Determine the, the seventh term in the sequence 3, negative 12, positive 48, and so on. So we are looking for what term? Seven po. Seven. seven so this terms. will be A sub 7. Then A sub 1, then we have our N, and we have our R. A sub 7 is missing. What is our A sub 1? 3. What? That will be 3. That's correct. How about our N? Negative 7, four. sir. Seven. Seven. Hmm? N. N po. Nasa N pa lang tayo, ha? N. That will be 7. seven. And what is our R? Negative 4, sir. 
that will be negative 4. Pa, gano'n po saan ang negative 4? It's negative 12 over positive 3. Okay? So negative 12 divided by positive 3, so that is negative 4. Okay po, negative 4. Okay, so lumabas na yung negative. Okay? So, kasi makakita nyo, nag, yung, nag alternating yung sign. Positive 3, negative 12, positive 48. So, next natin yung sunod na number dyan, negative. Alternating. Okay? But we are looking for the a sub 7. Okay? So, let's move on. That will be a sub 7 is equals to a, uh, what is our a sub 1? 3. 3. Correct. How about our N? Oh, sorry, R. What is our R? Negative, Negative four. 4. Negative 4. That's correct. How about our N? 7, Seven. minus 1. Then this will be 3 raised to negative 4 over 6. Ay po. Ito, dito kalimita ng kahamali. Okay? So, so sagutin muna natin yung negative 4 raised to 6. So, Tandaan that kung mapapansin nyo, nasa loob ng, ng parenthesis ang negative sign. So, ibig sabihin, kasama siya sa anim na beses nyong multiply So, ano ang anim na negative? Negative times negative, negative times negative, negative times negative. So, ano yung anim na yon? Positive or negative? Positive, sir. That would be positive. Simple lang naman yun eh. Pag sabi ko nga halinhinan yan, kung una mo negative, that's one. Ang pangalawa, positive. Then negative, positive, negative, positive. So this is positive. Kasi pag may sign, pag nandito tayo sa multiplication, basta uh, negative, halinhinan. Negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive. Ibig sabihin, kung ang negative erase mo sa even, na exponent, that will be positive. Pero kung ang negative erase mo sa odd na even, uh, na exponent, that will be negative. So, ibig sabihin, since 6 is odd, uh, even, sorry, since 6 is even, the final answer will be positive. So, that's for uh, anim na negative ay positive. How about anim na 4? Ano ang anim na 4? 4,096 po. 4,000 96. Check nga natin sa calculator. So that will be 4 times 4. Sabi nga natin, 6 na, uh, na 4 yun. 4 times 4 is 16. Times 4, that's 64. Times 4, that's 256. Times 4, that's 1024. Times 4, it's 4096. Correct. So I, it will be better if you'll be using calculator. Calculator, whether scientific or not, will help you. Kahit yan po nasa, nasa cellphone nyo, malaking bagay na yan. So, we multiply 3 times positive 4,096. So, that's 4,096 times 3. 12,288. That will be 12,288. And that is our A sub 7. Okay po. 12 times uh, that will be 3 times 4,096. So, A sub 7 is 12,288. Question? None. None. Okay, now, let's move on to another idea in geometric sequence with what we call the geometric means. Diba dun sa... Sa arithmetic sequence, meron rin tayong tinatawag na arithmetic means kung saan yung gitna yung nawawala. Okay? Ganun din naman dito sa <coughs> geometric sequence, we have what we call geometric means. At ganun din yung idea. Meron isa sa dulo, meron sa isa sa dulo, may nawawala sa gitna. Okay po? po so, paano natin siya um, sasagutin? Okay? Paano natin siya sasagutin? Or paano, nawawala, uh, paano natin masosolve yung mga nawawala sa gitna nila. Example here is our 4 blank, 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 64. So, ibig sabihin, may nawawalang tatlo sa gitna. Okay? So, 
Dating na natin, 4 blank, 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 64. Ano, ilang terms ang meron tayo? 4 blank, 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 64. Ilang terms ang meron tayo? 5. That will be 5. That is N equals 5. Okay? A sub 5 is the last term. What is our A sub 5? That is 64. That's the last one. While our A sub 1... 64, sir. Our A sub 1 is... 4. Ang nawawala dito ay R. Kasi wala kang pagkukunan. Walang second term at first term na magkasunod. Okay? May mga blankos in between. So, ang una natin gagawin ay hanapin si R. At paano natin hahanapin si R? Ngayon, yung pa rin yung gagamitin natin, which is your A sub N is equals to um, A sub 1 times R raised to N minus 1. Yan parang gagawin natin. Pero in different form. So paano mangyayari? Since A sub 5 is given, that will be A sub 5 is equals to A sub 1 R N minus 1. Yan ang magiging forma niya. So this will be 64 64 equals 4 times r is missing then we have 5 minus 1 naho ha po kung paano nangyari kasunod po bago tayo magdiretso so if sinasubstitute ka lang po our last term is 64 our first term is 4 r is missing then we have our n which is 5 minus 1 Clear? Yes, Clear sir. Clear po tayo dyan. Yes, sir. Ayan, let's continue. Yes, sir. So that will be 64 is equals to 4 R 5 minus 1 Four. 4 Okay. So, bakit po tinanggal ko na yung parenthesis? Kasi pwede ko na siya i-multiply ng, hindi magka, ng walang parenthesis kasi isang letter at isang number naman. So ang magiging answer natin is 64 is equals to 4R raised to 4. Okay. We are looking for the, the value of R. So kailangan natin matanggal muna yung number sa unahan ng 4, ng R, which is 4. So we divide both terms by 4. So, R raised to 4 is equal to 64 divided by 4 is 16. Tinipide natin. Pero, ang kailangan natin ay R lang. Hindi po R raised to 4. So, ibig sabihin, kailangan natin matanggal yung 4 as our exponent. Paano natin matatanggal yung 4 as exponent? 16 root. That will be? Minus 16 po, both side. Minus 16? Hindi po. Tandaan, ang binabaliktad, ang binabaliktad natin ngayon ay exponent. Ito kasi, yung 4 raised to 4, ang binaliktad natin ay multiplication kasi yung 4 nakatime naka sa r raised to 4. Kaya po, dinivide natin sa 4. Ngayon, this is r raised to 4. Raise to 4. Hindi mo siya basta-basta pwedeng tanggalin. So, paano natin siya babalita rin? O paano natin makakuha ang R lang? Yes po, sa gulo. Sir, i-divide po yung R sa 4, sir. R divided by 4? R so, divided by 4, ito both sides po, sir. Divide by 4 po. 4 mm -hmm. is not a numer uh, is not a numerical coefficient. Tandaan. Kung ang 4 katulad natin kanina ay nasa unahan ng R, which is a numerical coefficient, then pwede tayo mag-divide. But this time around, our R is an exponent, not a numerical coefficient. So hindi siya pwedeng i-divide by 4 lang. Sir, may coefficient po siya, 1. May coefficient siya, which is 1. Diba? Pero ang kailangan natin matanggal, kaya hindi natin tinanggal, yung... Yung 1, okay na yung 1. Sadya namang 1 yan. Ang kailangan natin ay itong matanggal yung 4. Kasi ang kailangan lang natin ay R. Square root po. Square root, malapit na. 
Malapit na sa idea ng square root. Since this is r raised to 4, we'll be using the fourth root. The fourth root. Kasi 4 yan. Para, para, di ba, ang idea nito, ano yung fourth root ng r raised to 4? The fourth root of r raised to 4 is r. Okay po. Kasi, ang ibig sabihin ng fourth root, anong number ang minultiply mo ng apat Para maging r raised to 4. That is r. r times r is r squared times r, r cubed times r, r raised to 4. So that is r. Then, what is the fourth root of 16? Anong number yes, ang minultiply mo ng apat na beses para maging 16? 4 po. Yes, that is yes, 2. Uh, that will be 2. 2 times 2. 4 times 2, 8 times 2, 16. That's correct. 16. Tama bang 2? Tama ba ang 2? Yes, sir. Tama po. Okay po. Tama siya partially. Okay po. Bakit po? The real answer is positive negative 2. Okay po. Tandaan, if we are using an even root, ibig sabihin, square root, fourth root, 6th root, 8th root, 10th root, lahat po yan, ang magiging sagot natin ay dalawa. Okay? It can be positive, it can be negative. Check natin ha. Yung positive 2 times positive 2, it's positive 4. Times positive 2, that's positive 8. Then times positive 2, that's positive 16. So tamang 16. Pero kapag negative 2, negative 2 times negative 2, that's positive 4. Times negative 2, negative 8. Negative 8 times negative 2, positive 16 din. So, pwede siyang positive 2 or negative 2. Okay? But most of the time, ginagamit lang natin ay positive. That's acceptable. Pero ang pinakatamang sagot talaga, it's positive negative 2. So, ibig sabihin, ang magiging sagot dito, it's pwede siyang, tatanggapin ko, 8, 16, 32, Kasi that's 4 times 2, 8, times 2, 16, times 2, times 2, times 2, 64. Pwede rin ang maging sagot dito ay 4 times, 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. Then we have 16, then negative 32, then 64. Pwede pong dalawa ang sagot dyan. 8, 16, 32, or negative 8, 16, negative 32. Okay? Pero kung positive lang ang nilagay nyo, sige, tatanggapin ko na. Pero paniliwanag ko lang sa inyo, there can be two answers. Clear po tayo? Apa. Yes, sir. Okay, yes, po. sir. Let's try another one para po mas maliwanagan tayo. Yan. I have here 10 blank blank to 70. So how many terms do I have here? Four terms, four. sir. So four. there are four terms. So A sub 1 is... Ano A sub 1 na 10? That will be 10. Ten. Ano on to 70? Fourth term, sir. So that will be A sub... A sub 4. Is a four, and we are looking for our r. Okay, we are looking for our r. So that will be two seventy equals ten times r raised to four minus one. That will be two seventy equals ten. R Ano number dito? 4 minus 1. 3. 3. So that is 3 cube. So that's 10 cube. Ano una natin gagawin? <clears throat> ano yung tatanggalin Divide muna natin? Divide by 10, sir. Divide both ter uh, both side by 10. So divide by both by 10. So that becomes R cube. Natira nala yung R. 
and this is 27. So what will be the next idea? Paano natin makukuha ang R? Cube root, sir. That will be cube root. Okay, cube root. Kasi that will be 3. Kasi 3 ito. So ganun din dito, that will be 3. So this will be R. Ano number ang tatlong beses natin na ita times para maging 27? Three, that will be 3. Positive, so, negative, or positive, or negative lang? Positive, negative. Hindi po. Positive lang. Tandaan, sabi ko nga, yung positive, negative lang natin ay gagamitin natin kapag ang index natin, kapag ang index natin ay even. Since 3 is odd, kukuhanin mo lang yung sign. So that is positive 27, so that will be 3. Bakit po? Kung positive, negative yan, e-check nga natin. So that's 3 times um, 3, times three 9. Times 3, 27. So tama. Pero kapag negative 3, negative 3 times negative 3, that's positive 9. Times negative 3, negative 27. Hindi na sasakto. Okay? So... Kapag ang ating index ay odd, kung ano ang sign natin, yun ang gagamitin natin. Since positive 27 is positive, positive din yung sagot. Pero kapag katulad kanina that we have an even index, that will be positive negative. Okay? So in this case, only, only acceptable is 3. Okay? So that's 10 times 3. What is 10 times 3? 30. Times, times 3. 90, sir. Times 3. 270. Oh, 270. So, 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 tama siya. Okay? It's 30, 90. Let's take note of that, ha? Kapag po ang ating pong index ay even, doon lang nagkaharoon ng positive negative. Pero kapag ang index natin ay odd, Kung ano ang sign ng ating base, siya din lang ang sign ng ating sagot. Okay? Nakuha na po? Clear po? Question? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ay po. So, None po. Wala na po. So, let's have your sasagotan. So, ang mga sasagotan nyo po ay ito, page 12. Learning task one, which is... Uh, yes, pa? Lahat po ng section, sir. Yes, pa. Lahat po ng section. Thank you, sir. Ay po. Lahat po ng section to, ha? Page 12, learning task one. So, sabihin mo lang kung geometric o hindi. As simple as that. Okay? Geometric sequence ba to o hindi? So, geometric sequence or not geometric sequence? Lima. Then let's have the learning task to page 13. You have to get the common ratio, okay, which is given katulad po nung una, for 816, ang common ratio niya ay 2. Saan ang galing? 8 divided by 4 is 2. Or 16 divided by 8 is 2. Then after getting the common ratio, get the next three term. So that's 16 times 2, 32 times 2, 64 times 2, 128. So ganun po ang gagawin natin sa next four items. Okay? Clear? Wala, Wala po yung computation. Okay? Letter B. Okay? So ang gagawin lang po natin, given, may mga given dito, May mga given dito, kailangan mo lang hanapin, kanyari, 1, 4, 7, 10. Um, either common ratio, kung siya arithmetic sequence, get the common ratio. Ah, sorry. Kung arithmetic sequence siya, get the common difference. At kung siya naman ay geometric sequence, get the common ratio. And saan siya tatapat? Then ilalagay niyo po, example, lumabas dito na D equals 3. D equals 3 ito. Alin kaya dyan ang D equals 3, which is arithmetic na and may common ratio or difference na 3. Example, kung ito ay JE prime, so ilalagay mo dito, JE prime. 
Shea E. Prime. Then may mabubuo ka dyang um, friend's word for I love you very much using those letters. Okay? So, isusulat mo sa baba, ano yung pinaka um, friend's word for I love you very much. And for letter C, find the 10th term of geometric regression. I am just looking for the 10th term. Okay, the 10th term. So, with computation po on letter C. Okay, dito lang po ako nagre-required ng computation. Okay, hindi ko po chachekain ang inyong letter C hanggat walang computation. Clear po tayo? Yes, po. Yes, sir. Okay, stop share ko na to ha. Hey, okay. 